Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to Queensland Weekender. Now, you've all heard the phrase rainforest to reef, right? Well, it's an iconic Queensland itinerary, and some would say the best the state has to offer. When you think of those two words, your mind might go to Daintree, Cairns, with Sundays. Well, I'm going to ask you to scoot down the coast a little further south, and ladies and gentlemen, I give you a region that has it all rainforest, reef, beautiful untouched islands, and plenty of adventure. Don't believe me? Well, here's proof. Any guesses where I am? I'm soaring above the Capricorn Coast and the southern Great Barrier Reef. Over there is Rockhampton. To the north is a rainforest of Byfield. Out that way, a pristine paradise known as the Keppel Islands. And down below, beautiful beaches of Yapoon. I'll be exploring it all on the show today. On foot, by canoe, sailboat, jet ski, and of course, with a stranger strapped to my back at 12,000 feet. Yeah, brother! Oh, this is so good! And look at this view! That is the best. Really got fun, hey? Oh, that is the best view on the planet, hands down. Meet my new best friend, Paul, from Capricorn Skydive. I'm happy to know I'm in safe hands. He's been diving out of planes for 20 years and helps all kinds of people feel the rush of flying. As far as skydiving goes, how are these conditions? Oh, absolutely magic, mate. Doesn't get yeah. much better than this. That's what happens when you enjoy 300 plus days of sunshine a year here on the Capricorn oh, Coast. Man. The beauty of doing a skydive here is just that, the beauty. You can take in beautiful views of the Capricorn Coast that you can't experience any other way. This is insane. Well, you're flying this beast, pull your right hand all the way down, left hand up. Look at the camera. Yeah! Left hand down. Whoa! Right hand down. Whoa! And it's a rare treat to glide down and land directly on the beach. Thank you, mate. How was that? Thank you, brother. That was Woo! amazing, honestly. Best fun ever. If you want the best view on the planet, hands down, go with these guys into a plane, go up to 12,000 feet, and then just float peacefully above the great Keppel Island group, and you'll just see this sea of incredible turquoise water, little green islands with brilliant white beaches. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mind blowing, all right. Brother. High five. Thank you. Thanks that was amazing. That was amazing. Let's go again. Let's go. Let's do it. Paul certainly doesn't need any encouragement. He's well and truly caught the bug. Mate, you've done an unbelievable 4,000 jumps. What was that moment where, I don't know, maybe your first, your second, I don't know, when you went, this is what I want to do for my life? First jump. Was it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And what happened? Like, what, did you just go, yep, yeah, mate, I'm on, this is it? No, first I went, what am I doing? <laughs> and then I went, oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> This is a man who loves getting up in the morning. And why wouldn't you when your job is to give people incredible life-changing experiences? What's the oldest you've had? Uh, I've taken a 90-year-old. Really? Yeah. What was the reaction there? Oh, I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I wanted to do it again next year. <laughs> better than bingo. Yeah, better than bingo, <laughs> way better. It's not only the people and the thrill that ignites Paul's passion, he loves calling this part of the world home. I've jumped all over the world in Australia and it's up there with the best. Because you could have picked anywhere on the planet to raise your, your little human and yeah. you've gone, your poon. Right, right here. Yeah. yeah. Have a look at it. Says it all. Yeah, Says exactly. it all. I don't know why I'm asking the questions. Yeah. It's stupid. <laughs> all right, no more talking, Chris. So now that my feet are firmly on the ground, it's time to check out this down to earth town. Yapoon is well known for its laid back vibes. The seaside holiday spot is 38 k's east of Rockhampton and dotted with cool cafes and boutiques that reflect the relaxed village atmosphere. The promenade and free water park is a favourite for families. But there's a new visitor experience a little further south. The centenary of Anzac Memorial Walk winds along the headland at Emu Park. The interpretive works tells the story of World War I's many major battles. I urge you to spend a bit of time here to stop, learn and reflect. It's really interesting, I think, in what they've created here because you're walking along reading the stories of Australia's involvement in World War I and you're doing it with this 
unbelievable scenery on your right hand side and it kind of dawns on me that we only get to experience this because of the sacrifices those servicemen and women made all those years ago. Follow the sea breeze up the coast to Anzac Parade where you'll find Salt Yapoom, a great base for exploring the region. The town's newest four and a half star apartments are perfectly positioned on absolute beachfront. Hello gorgeous. Oh man. Choose from specky one, two or three bed and penthouse apartments. Add to that resort style pools, a gym and beachfront dining within walking distance and you've got it all. How's this for an accommodation view? One of the very best, 180 degrees folks of what? Look out there. That is the Keppel Islands and the Capricorn Coast in all its turquoise beauty. I'll be exploring that a little bit later in the show, but tomorrow a rainforest adventure awaits. Intrigued? Well, join me on the road after the break. G'day and welcome back to Queensland Weekender. Well, you've joined me on the road north of Yapoon and I'm heading towards the rainforest of Byfield National Park. Before I get there though, I'm gonna stop in to have a chat to a few of the locals. And they're friendly locals at that. Say hello to my little friends. Want some of this, bro? Oh, how you doing? These little guys are white tuft ear marmosets. A couple of the characters you can meet at Kuburi Wildlife Park just north of Yapoon. They're pretty cool. Uh, they're really, really friendly, obviously. Really, really curious and they've got a really big personality. They just want to come and interact with you. Whoa. There we go, you've got, a double, you've got triple trouble. So you've got three on you right now. And if you feel them, they only weigh around 250 to 350 grams. Yeah. So they are relatively light. Kieran's family own the park and he's proud of the fact that this is one of only three places in Queensland where you can interact with monkeys. I've done a lot of stuff and this is this is a first for me. Like, they're they're like pretty crazy. Before. I know, how cool are they? And the thing is they are very curious, very friendly, they're always ready to interact with you. There's, There's one playing with us. on the cameraman right now. Yeah, just like, like having a bit of a cruise with that. It's like, oh, hey. This isn't the only hands-on experience at Coopery Park. G'day, girl. Oh, how beautiful is that coat? I'd like underwear made of it. It's one of only 13 places in the world where you can cuddle a koala. At the park, you can hand feed kangaroos, emus, wallabies, chickens, ducks, peacocks. And then at the one o'clock animal show, which is held every day of the year, you're able to hold snakes, lizards, birds, sugar gliders, pat the koalas, and it's all included in admission. Wow, that is the trippiest feeling. You are a big man. He's called Jack because he's Jacks. Look at him. Look at those triceps. You gotta get him before his leg session because he's gotta start that pretty soon. Out of here. Yeah. Go hit the weights for him, bro. The park is free range, so don't worry, the animals haven't escaped. They're just waiting for a scratch and a selfie. Let's have a kangaroo selfie. You ready? Ready, bro? You gotta look at the camera. Here we go. One, two, three. Good man. Kubri Park also rehabilitates sick, injured, and orphaned animals from all over Queensland. Kieran's family have owned and run the park for 12 yep. years and love seeing visitors' faces light up when they learn about the animals. Some people, they, they literally travel all the way from Europe to hold a koala, yeah. they hold one and they cry and they've had this dream for like 20 to 30 years. It's just a great experience for everybody. For another incredible experience in nature, I'm heading further north into the heart of the rainforest. Fern's Hideaway is set amongst the trees at Byfield, 45 minutes north of Yapoon. What a spot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like something out of a Mark Twain novel. <laughs> Owners John and Genevieve Martin fell in love with this place the first time they saw it, and they just knew they had to share it. Mate, this, this is instant relaxation as soon as I got on here. Thank you, yeah. Look, when Jen and I first found this property 37 years ago, we came up here on a hot summer's day with a uh, backpack and a compass, <laughs> and we found our way from the road into this creek, and this is the very spot where we're at now. Yeah. And uh, we just walked in and swam across to that bank over there, and we looked back and thought, this is absolutely magnificent. Yeah. So, what, and then we thought, what could we do with this? So <laughs> we uh, sat down together and we, uh, we created Ferns Hideaway, and here we are. Was that the start of it? Yes, that was 37 years ago. 
What John and Jen have created is really something special. They've hand-built a colonial-style resort and caravan park for guests to reconnect and recharge. John even milled the timber for the log cabins himself. So it's certainly a labour of love. We want people to come here and, and feel like we did when we first found it. Yeah. So it's really... Uh, to fall in love with it. Yeah, peaceful, it's back to nature, um, but to have some comfort. John, or Mardo to his mates, which is pretty much everyone, is seriously one of the nicest blokes around. I mean, I just want to bottle some of this man's positivity. And he sure knows how to make guests feel welcome. So not only have these two created this amazing accommodation, which they built with their own two hands, which serves as like a, an oasis in the region, they also have a restaurant where they serve up amazing food and Check it out. Entertainment. Marto gets up every Saturday night with whatever musician likes to lob up there with him and you get dinner and a show. What can't this guy do? It's so annoying. After the break, I say goodbye to my new mates as I'm headed for another gem of the region. Welcome back to Queensland Weekend, or as I continue to explore the incredible Capricorn coast from rainforest to reef. I've seen it from above, I've seen it from below, and I've even canoed through the rainforest itself. All that's left to conquer is the reef. Well, it just so happens that the largest coral reef on the planet is waiting for me just out there, and this beautiful lady called Grace is going to take me there. She's a lovely catamaran that set sail from Keppel Bay Marina in Yapoon, the gateway to the southern Great Barrier Reef. We're sailing. We're sailing the Capricorn Coast. How good. Life is good. Her owners, Anthony and Vicky, run Sail Capricornia, and they share their patch of paradise with visitors daily. Well, Vicky, it is good to be back in the <laughs> Keppel Islands, yes. Yeah, good to have you back. Oh, it's a special place, isn't it? It's a beautiful place, yeah. What do you love about it? Because Whitsound Days gets all the press. We're getting there, we're yeah. getting there. The, the thing about um, our part of the world is that there's um, there's so many islands within sailing distance of yeah. the mainland. So there's a good anchorage for us in, in every weather condition pretty much. And there's, there's nice white sandy beaches on pretty much all of them and some fringing coral for snorkeling. Because this is where, what is the tagline? This is where great begins. Because people don't realise that this is really the southernmost tip of the Great Bay Reef. You, you've got it right here. That, that's exactly right. There are 18 islands marked on the treasure map that is the Keppel Island Group. Great Keppel's the biggest, which I'm visiting tomorrow, but they all offer up big rewards. Monkey Reef's one of our biggest reefs around here and at the moment probably our best one for snorkelling. Yeah. Um, as you can see at the moment the tide is quite shallow here so you're very close to the reef. This is a, um, a green zone so everything here is protected so there's a lot of fish in a small yeah. area. So we usually tell people if you snorkel around the edge you'll see a lot of fish. There's a clownfish colony over there so we've got our own Nemo's. Some nice big colourful clams and uh, some really good coral. It's an awesome snorkeling site, complete with a couple of curious turtles. This is one of the few places I've ever seen where you can just walk off the beach and there's fringing coral right there. It's crazy. Yeah, we have fringing coral around most of our white sandy beaches here, so you can't ask for more than that. What are people saying about what you guys are offering? Oh, they, they just can't believe it. Some people say they have a better snorkeling experience here than they've had anywhere in the world. They offer a variety of half and full day tours and see visitors from all over Australia and the world. So Tess and Kaylin, all the way from Belgium and Canada, give it to me straight. What's this area like? You've been here three months. Yeah, um, it's pretty awesome. We were driving by with absolutely no intention on staying here, but we were just blown away by the beauty here. So we've been here for three months. We've stuck around. Yep, this is the life. But the closest way I'm going to feel like a boatie is to hang out where they do. So the Waterline Restaurant at Keppel Bay Marina is a specky spot to round out a cracker day. We got a little 
They've won a heap of awards, and there are a few reasons for that. One's the friendly service. Dan, you're my favourite. Thank you, brother. Enjoy. And the other is this. You've got the sun setting over this beautiful marina, and this, this spectacular meal in front of me. This is the Waterline's version of the reef and beef, essentially. My God, you talk about locally sourced food. We have prawns coming off a trawler just there. And then this beef is sourced from the owner's station just two hours southwest. And then I've also got some, some uh, crocodile and prawn spring rolls. Sometimes this job is just insane. But you can do this, and that's what we're saying. And that's what I'm here for, just to, anyway, you get the picture. I'll spare you the pain of watching me devour this. So I'll catch you after the break. Well, I'll meet you on the beautiful Great Keppel Island. What do you look for in an island escape? Sparkling blue water? White sandy beaches? Coral reefs? Well, tick, tick, tick and tick. I did tell you, you didn't have to travel too far north to have it all. With your poon just 30 minutes that way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you paradise. Welcome to Great Keppel Island. It offers 28 kilometres of beaches, 17 white sandy beaches to be exact, which is more than any other Great Barrier Reef Island. It's a dream destination for those who love snorkeling, swimming, adventure or just lazing about. Seen Appleton has fond memories of holidaying here as a kid and took over Great Keppel Island hideaway five years ago so more families can enjoy this secret spot. It's a spot for central Queensland that's been needed forever, been shut for 10 years. We've opened it back up and the locals have proved that it was well worth doing. Great Keppel Island Hideaway offers a range of accommodation options for an affordable Great Barrier Reef stay. You see the smiles on the faces, I must make you feel pretty good, hey? Yeah, it does. I, I, like I say, brought my kids over here when they were two, and now I love the best part of watching what goes on here is other people bringing their kids over. Yeah. The visitor book just says it all. You yeah. know, people just don't want to go home. Yeah. And for a lucky few, they don't have to. Brett and Amy Loraway live on the island with their three water babies. Yeah. Can I invite you, Mars? Yes, please. Yeah, Mars. You'll find them down by the beach running Great Keppel Island Adventures, offering snorkel, kayak and stand-up paddle hire as well as guided tours. And their newest adventure is, in my opinion, the best way to explore the island. If somebody came to us and said, you know, what's the best way to get around or see everything on Great Keppel Island, access every point, environmentally friendly, uh, the easiest way and the most fun is jet ski. Brett's guided jet ski tour zips you around to the top spots on the island and a few secluded places like Leaks Creek. It's an adventure wonderland really, isn't it? Mate, it is, it is. And uh, a lot of people don't get to see this and this is absolutely pristine environment, unspoiled, unpolluted, fantastic. Brett also knows where to find the best snorkeling. I'm talking 400 year old brain coral bigger than the jet skis and spots teeming with life. This is unreal, there is hundreds of fish down here. You can see Brett's chucking pillies in, he's creating this feeding frenzy of these beautiful fish. Bass, stripies, perch. There's a parrotfish down there too, I think, Brett. Oh, it's unreal, I'm going back down. Saying the other day, you go back to the same place and every day it gets a bit better. Yeah. You know, I might have been there a thousand times, but every day it gets a bit better. It really does feel like another world here. What was it like growing up as a boy on what I like to call Adventure Island? There's always yeah. plenty of things happening and a lot of people and that sort of stuff, but it's a fantastic place and, uh, you know, it's a great, great place to grow up, I think. You go to a beach by yourself yeah. and stay there, as we are today. It's just us. It's fantastic. Hard to believe it's just an hour flight or day drive from Brizzy to Rockhampton and a 30-minute ferry ride from Yapoon. So, mate, what is Great Keppel Island to you? Paradise. Realistically, yeah. it is. Um, I think it is. And uh, travelling uh, around with uh, with different companies and seeing different places and that, it's uh, always it's, it's home to me. And uh, it's, it really gets into your soul. It gets into 
to uh, a lot of souls, a lot of people over time, and they always come back to Great Keppel Island, something special, and it, it is really magical. While part of me wants to keep this place a secret, you really should experience this special part of the world for yourself. We'll have details on our adventure and how you too can explore it from all angles on the Queensland Weekender website. And for more holiday ideas, visit queensland.com and Queensland Rail Travel. And keep tagging your picks at Queensland Weekender. You know, at this stage of the game, as you come to the end of the show, I'd have some well-chosen words to encourage you to come out and visit the region soon and tout how great it is. But I don't think I need to do that because of scenes just like this. What I'm saying is the Capricorn Coast speaks for itself and folks I rest my case. I hope you've enjoyed the show. That is the end for Queensland Weekender. We'll see you next week. Cheers guys. Thanks for having me.